Deborah Carata is a software developer and a Pluralsight author. If you've ever taken a Pluralsight course on C Sharp or Angular, you likely already know her name. Here's a conversation I had with her recently about finding your developer superpower. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us again this year, Deborah. Now, you've made an incredible reputation for yourself. What are some of the exciting things that you've worked on that you're particularly proud of in your career? I'm really proud of the fact that I've been able to help developers, especially beginners or those entering into some new technologies. I'd always wanted to be a teacher, so it fulfills a dream for me. And it also has the nice side effect of being able to help others, especially Angular and C Sharp developers. It's been just such a fun experience. Yeah, absolutely. And and that was originally how you started your track, wasn't it? You were going to start as a teacher and then um, you have kind of an interesting story about how you got into tech. Well, in high school, I'd actually joined the Future Teachers of America because <laughs> I was going to be a teacher. But I uh, later got very into uh, science and decided to go get a degree in physics instead. So my background is actually in physics and math. And um, I got into technology as a way to help pay my way through college. I got a job at the uh, college computer lab because back then you had to actually go to a lab to use a computer. Um, <laughs> and that's how I got started. So what is some advice that you would give to software engineers or aspiring software engineers? Well, Everyone feels imposter syndrome, right? From time to time, you just feel like you're not good enough. Um, someone's always faster at software development or knows more or has more Twitter followers or has better projects or a higher pay or whatever. And it makes us sometimes feel like we just aren't good enough to be here. And it's really important to find your own superpower. So that's my advice to really find what you're good at. We all have a technical superpower, right? Something that in technology, we are really good at, something that makes us special. You know, maybe you're the one who best empathizes with your customers or your users, or maybe you're the one who uh, finds common ground between your team members as you're discussing topics, or maybe you're the one who really architects your applications well and breaks them into pieces for the team, or maybe you're the one that helps everyone gets unstuck and keeps your project moving, or maybe you can explain things better than anyone else to other members of the team or uh, to some of your users who are stuck or having difficulty. Maybe you're the one who knows just the right words to put into Google in order to find the right Stack Overflow article to solve your problem. Um, we all have unique and amazing abilities, and sometimes they get lost in the day-to-day -day work that we do, and uh, they get kind of buried and, and forgotten. And so it's really important to take some time and identify what your superpowers are, what makes you unique. Um, maybe start by sitting down and writing what things that you enjoy, what things that you're good at. But don't just do it one time and, you know, staring at a blank piece of paper. Do it over a week or several weeks. Every time you attack a task that really brings you joy, you know, write that down as, as something that, that might be your superpower. Or if there is something that, you know, you started doing and suddenly time seems to disappear, you know, maybe that's really one of your uh, superpowers, one of the things that, that you're good at. Um, it's important to identify how, how you're different and, and what you bring to the table, what you bring to your organization and to your team. Yeah, that's a very interesting way to think about it rather than just a, a bulleted list of skills. Um, you can have those skills plus I'm really good at fast scripting or I'm really good at um, looking things up. You mentioned that. I'll I'll admit that I was that developer for a long time. I was the I'm really good at Googling and Stack Overflow and things. <laughs> and that that is a superpower, actually. Yeah, and there is a big difference between strengths and skills. Um, strengths are, are your actual inherent abilities, where uh, skills are something that you learn. 
Um, like for example, my eldest daughter is um, incredibly smart. She is a um, cancer researcher and is currently uh, working on um, able, uh, being able to uh, determine whether someone has colon cancer without having to do a colonoscopy. Now, who wasn't wow. one of the person trying to do that? Um, <laughs> but uh, one of the things that she's absolutely horrible at is spelling. She cannot spell the poor child. When she was in sixth grade, she um, achieved the skill of being able to memorize her spelling words. So she got 100% on all of her spelling tests because she had the skill and absolutely no strengths whatsoever in spelling <laughs> to memorize her spelling uh, words. So since she had the highest spelling grade, her teacher picked her to represent the class in the spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> Poor wow. child, oh my goodness, um, because there's no way that she could memorize the entire dictionary. So she did horribly and was very embarrassed. But that kind of points out the difference between skills and um, abilities. Um, you, can, you can make yourself, you can improve yourself with uh, things you aren't good at uh, with skills, but your real strengths are, are where your superpowers lie. So you know more about Angular than anyone else I can think of. Um, how do you learn new features and techniques in Angular when they're released? Well, one of the things that's important to really uh, stay up both on your skills and on your strengths is to practice. And so practicing is very um, helpful. It also is really important to stay up with what's happening in the industry. So keep track of uh, what changes are happening uh, keep track of uh, blog posts of what the Angular team is doing. Uh, same thing for C Sharp. I also uh, do uh, a lot of C Sharp. So I, you know, just yesterday attended a C Sharp language team um, at Microsoft, uh, one of their um, team meetings in order to be up on what it is that they're doing and changing. Um, so you can kind of think of it if you've seen like the Queen's Gambit. Uh, the, that story is about a woman who just is incredibly good at, at chess. And she doesn't just then um, go play chess. Um, and so us as developers, we can't necessarily just uh, go code. It's also important to really strengthen and learn uh, skills. So in, that ex in uh, the example of the Queen's Gambit, I mean, she reads everything that she can find on it. She finds uh, uh, magazines, she gets books, she practices uh, in her head. Um, what her uh, uh, chess game is going to be like, and she learns all of the different strategies. And so it's important as, for us as developers to not only just practice, but to also expand that knowledge, you know, read, read blog posts, read um, uh, Stack Overflow articles. And of course, there is Pluralsight. Um, Pluralsight has an amazing set of courses on all of these technologies and can really help you boost your, your superpowers. <laughs> Absolutely. So how do developers boost their strengths once they've identified them? Like you, you mentioned kind of taking notes of everything and, and saying, okay, this is the thing that, that really makes my heart sing. And this is the thing that I really enjoy. Like say, for me, it was being a backend developer. I tried front end stuff, I tried back end stuff. And then like, when I got into back end development, I'm like, this is what I really like to do. And, you know, I made that decision, like this is the area I wanna be in. How can you start to build those strengths once you've identified the area that you wanna be in or, or where you want your superpowers to be? Yeah, it's important then to uh, really uh, study uh, that area. So if you find that you're really good at debugging, for example, maybe you want to spend some time uh, watching some courses on debugging, following what's going on. Um, if you're front end, you know, doing the browser debugging, if you're back end doing uh, debugging of stored procedures or doing debugging of, of uh, C sharp applications or whatever your superpower is. Uh, so uh, it's two pronged, of course. One is the actual studying and reading and keeping up with what's going on. And then the other part is uh, practice, practice, practice. Just do it. Do everything that you can um, to continue. You know, they say that you need 10,000 hours to really get good at something. Um, you know, 
Captain Marvel, when she realized that she had superpowers, she didn't immediately know how to embrace them and use them all. It took a tremendous amount of, of practice and, um, and just uh, continuing to improve and hone her skills before uh, she could really um, realize that she could fly. <laughs> so. <laughs> nice. So it, it almost sounds like preparing for, for the big game, you know, like uh, when, when an athlete goes out to play, it's not their first time that week or that month uh, throwing a ball or anything like that. It's, it's a whole bunch of preparation for a very short time to use it. So it's, it's almost like, uh, you know, when you go to jump in that code for the first time, make your first commit, there's weeks of preparation and, and practice and planning behind it. Yep. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Uh, and sometimes it's easy to feel discouraged because, you know, you come in and you look at code and you're like, I have no idea what this code is even doing. And it can be very frustrating. And um, even if, if I say example, coding Angular is your real superpower and you get someone else's code and you have like, I have no idea what this code is even doing. And you suddenly feel like, well, maybe that's not what's, um, what uh, you should be doing or whatever. And the important thing is just to keep at it, to keep going. Uh, we all have moments where, where we fall, <laughs> where uh, Captain Marvel falls out of the sky. Um, but Absolutely. I, I to keep trying and, and keep after it and uh, keep, practicing, keep reading, um, keep trying those Pluralsight courses, and um, uh, you will just continue to enhance and improve those skills over time. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for doing this. Final suggestions you'd like to give before we end this? Yeah, make sure that you use those superpowers for good, right? Um, once you've identified what you're good at, volunteer for things in your company, uh, help your other team members leveraging those skills. If we can all work and leverage our superpowers, maybe we can make the world better all in just small little steps. Thank you. <laughs> awesome, thank you.